Hey guys, we're on the set of Horse Dancer right now, and they're in the middle of a really intense scene, so we're gonna try to sneak in there and show you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys. Someone switched out Buttercup's pink harness for the blue one. We have a harness thief on our hands. And last night, one of the girls didn't change the toilet paper. And that's just irresponsible. Oh my God. Hey Zoe, hey Jamie. Hey. Hi. I couldn't help but overhear you guys talking. I heard about the missing toilet paper and the harness swap. I think I could help. Follow me to my lane. They've been practicing all day. <laughs> wow. I was riding Buttercup the other day. It was like some cinematic moment in the hit movie Black Beauty. And then <laughs> he relieved himself. <laughs> you know, it like brought me back to real life. It was actually a very beautiful moment. Joel, what's your favorite on scene memory? Uh, I would have to say the, uh, the deaf scene of Thunderclap. It's unfortunate, of course, that we couldn't do two takes because I, you know, method. So yeah, the show went on. Was, uh, My favorite on set memory. Right. Yeah. Except you, you're perfect. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Not everyone can be like this. Yeah, it's funny because no one wanted to be like me before, but now everyone wants to be like me. I think maybe my favorite memory was day one coming together to make what's going to be probably the best movie ever made. You're like really normal. It's really cool. I like how normal you are. Oh. <laughs> so how do you get along with the um, other girls in the movie? Um, in the movie, we get along really great. But um, in real life, they're actually after me. Oh, they're all so nice. Except for Nancy. The other day, we were in the cafe. She cuts in front of us and starts telling us what to do. And when we put just and yeah. we said yes, and then suddenly the band rang while we were having What would happen if she said the band? Majestic. Oh, All right. <laughs> There's some pretty strange people on set. Like Kim, she thinks she's a zebra. What makes you say that? Well. So there's definitely some off-screen romances happening. Uh, I didn't ask about that. Yeah, anyway, um, Zoe and Beth are like always sneaking off to the bathroom together. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Zoe, you wanna come? Yep! Yeah. It's definitely tough. Um, there's for sure there's favoritism going on. Yesterday Kim was given an extra line and as an actress, that can make or break your career. Take 34, Clyde, please. And remember, Melissa, the line is nice. Okay. Action, Melissa. Nice! All right, let's say uh, that's a cut. Good, good job, that's good. Is it too late to recast? How many more scenes do we have? Uh, I'm pretty sure we can reshoot her scenes and faster than the rest of the scenes are going to take. Just cast these. Great, great work. Good. Yeah, it's <laughs> really good. It's a cut. That is so unfair. I'm grateful because I learned a lot of new things, you know? Stuff that I wouldn't learn. <laughs> it's fun. I've learned a lot of things. I fell, but I'm okay. But I learned that I shouldn't dance. And twerking isn't my thing. So where do you see your career in five years? Um, in five years, uh, I feel like it can really only go up from here. I feel like my career is really taking off right now and it's really exciting. It's amazing how much attention I'm getting right now. And the movie hasn't even been released yet. Hey guys, I'm sure you recognize us from over there. We get that all the time. <laughs> Do you guys want me to sign you a cedar? Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> Being famous is a big responsibility. First thing that I'm going to do when I wrap, um, take a shower. Everyone here smells. Oh Woo! Really? Because I thought I thought I'm not. It's day 21 on set and they still don't know I'm a zebra. 